Jank Odo moment. And I can close a bike. Yeah, we we'll get these Team Galactic goons that wouldn't let me in like two parts ago. Yeah, she's repeating her lines about how she lost her Pokedex and Team Galactic found it. You can tag a battle with her to get it back. Pretty straightforward if you ask me. Our dream team. I don't want a dream team with you. I, I like tag battling with you, but a dream team. It just sounds too girly. And I'm filming at night, so, you know, that's why, um, the screen's like that, you know, it's nighttime and stuff. Beautify and dust stocks. Beautify and a dust stocks. Wow. Level 25 is. And she'll have a cool fairy, her cadaver, and whichever one you chose. In my case, it's gotta be, uh, um, a Piplup. But if you chose Piplup, like her, she's gonna actually use a Monferno in this, um, battle. Um, let's see here. If you chose Mon Monferno, she'll actually have a, um, what was it, Tetrig, or a Grover. No. I don't think I explained it that well, but, you know. Ouch, that really hurt. Ow. Oh, it really did hurt. Maybe I wanna eliminate the dust box next, you know? And her Clefairy won't do much except for like Metro Mom, which she's like really rolling on the dice. And all the moves, out of all the Pokemon moves she gets, she chooses, or uh, it just chooses, um, for her, she actually gets a flash. Wow. And it uses on the wrong Pokemon. I wanted to use on the Dustox, so the Dustox wouldn't have a good chance of getting a quick hit on me. Of all the moves in the Pokemon world, it chooses the evil flash that just lowers axe. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna faint. Oh, wait. It almost doesn't get a quick hit. Yes, I survived. Yay. Okay, you're putting it to sleep. That's nice. Woohoo, you're putting it to sleep. Yay. It also has Sing, by the way. I just learned that. It's been a long time since I've actually done this battle. So, yeah. We're gonna have to take out the Skunk Tank, because I have a Ghost type. And my Ghost and Dark type moves won't really be much of a service. <laughs> Gotta use a Super Potion. So I'm basically fully healed almost, but you'll see that there's a little tiny gap of help. Um, missing from my HP bar. Not toxic on me. Okay, use it on the Clefairy. Yes, use it on the Clefairy. I really want her to send out her Kadabra, because, um, her Kadabra will actually do a lot more use to me, like, you know, Psycho Spiff. That would have been awesome on the desktop. At least, you know. Because it said it's attack missed and it won't even affect the skunk tank. And why don't I go back to my bag? Probably gonna just use Shadow Punch on that dust tox. The good thing Shadow Punch never misses. That's what's awesome about it. Unless you're in that air, underwater, or uh, underground, you know. Smoke screen. That's just perfect. Man. The dust tox is still asleep. That's good too. Okay, you're on the dice again. Do something useful. Ooh, surf! Yay, I avoided an attack. Wow. What? The skunk tank avoided it. Oh, you stupid skunk tank. How can you avoid the surf? Only I can avoid the surf. I barely did anything. Oh, I thought I was gonna be so happy. You know, it can also choose like HM moves, which is kind of nice. But it, again, it's just rolling the dice. You never know what you get. <sighs> Man, you can't even put a hit on that skunky yet. Slash. Okay, fame it, fame it, fame it, fame it. Dang. It's still not that much fun. It's probably gonna last like one more turn and then it's gonna fame actually. Okay, you're rolling the dice for the third time. Arms thrust. Wow, that would have been good on a skunk yet. At least, and you miss. This is like the worst assistant that Clefairy has ever given me of all the times I played this on the game. I'm gonna ask you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably end up using Shadow Punch. Because I don't think Rick will totally frame it off. Okay, now all I have to do is deal with the Skunky. And I'm pretty sure whoever has the Dust Ducks also has the Crow Gunk, you know. Yeah, Fury Swipes. This is a little time consuming. Yes, you actually frame that thing off. Thank you. Send out your, um, Primple Bows. Yes, you sent out. 
because you know, see, because I'm pretty sure um the only effective move that um his um or her um cadaver has is shockwave. I'm pretty sure that's shockwave. I actually haven't done this battle in a long time, so I can't actually remember. Oh shit! I don't think I have anything really effective. Um, I'm probably just gonna have to use shadow punch or sucker punch on the crow dog. I'm gonna have to wither away. We have to do much. Toxic. Haha, ha, you're attacking us. Pex, that's good. It's a, fly, it's a flying type move. Good against the crow gun. Yay, critical hit. My luck is turning. Is I'm starting to turn, you know? Okay. And good. And you, you get all the experience, your Pokemon, because you don't actually split the experience, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna use Shadow Punch. Sucker Punch. Why do I always call it Shadow Punch? You know? Because I get that mixed up, you know? Because they're two different types of moves. One's dark type, one's ghost type, you know? It's sucker punch. And it fails if it doesn't if that skunky doesn't use an offensive move. And yeah, you use growl, which doesn't really um give me anything to work with, you know. But there's sucker punch. Yeah, and it did less damage on the crow gunk than it did. Uh yeah, it did less damage than what I did on the crow gunk. Yeah, you attack most. Yeah, bubble beam is useful. Yay, this battle is almost over. Yay, it's over. Thanks, another quick Wow, my luck is really beginning to turn now. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Well, yeah, I was pretty good. Why did I say I was doing pretty good? Yeah.